The High Court has heard that Oliver Campbell, who was a youth at the time with brain damage, described as easily manipulated, was coerced into falsely confessing to a 1990 murder of a shopkeeper during a robbery. Campbell, now 53, was convicted in 1991 alongside co-defendant Eric Samuels for the killing of Baldev Hundle in a London off-licence. In what some consider the longest miscarriage of justice in British history, the Court of Appeal was informed on Wednesday that there is compelling combination of facts indicating Campbell could not have been the shooter. Michael Birnbaum, Casey, who has spent over 20 years advocating for the case to be reviewed, presented the argument at the Royal Courts of Justice this week. The suspicion arose when Campbell's distinctive hat matching that worn by the gunman was found near the crime scene. Detectives were convinced Campbell was the shooter as he owned the hat and then pressured him into confessing to the murder. However, Campbell's defence contends that the hat was stolen by the actual gunman. During a police interview in 1990, Campbell confessed, stating that he accidentally pulled the trigger. Birnbaum highlighted the real possibility that Campbell's admission would be excluded today due to his severe disabilities resulting from a brain injury at just eight months old, which were not fully understood at the time. These disabilities include difficulty concentrating, processing information and being highly suggestible. Birnbaum described Campbell as easily manipulated and suggested that experts now agree that he confessed under pressure from the Metropolitan Police, with Campbell viewing confession to a crime he didn't commit as the least bad option. The barrister criticised the inconsistencies and absurdities, uh, absurdities in Campbell's confession, such as conflicting details about the use of the gun and holster. Birnbaum further argued that Campbell, who had spent 11 years in jail, was unable to do justice to himself during the trial at the Old Bailey in 1991, emphasising that special measures available today were not in place back then, leaving Campbell at a disadvantage. The court also heard criticisms of the weak identification of Campbell at the crime scene by an eyewitness and the omission of evidence from Eric Samuels, Campbell's co-defendant, that could have exonerated him. The hearing is set to continue for two days and I will of course update you when I can. If you found this report informative, please give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates and we'll see you in the next video.